Hey everyone, welcome back to Auburn Claire Beauty, where we're creating on the world's most beautiful canvas, you. Today I thought we have a little fun. It's rainy here in Maine and sounded like a perfect day to do something like this. I want to create a new little segment called Five Minute Reviews. This is going to be a, a segment where I try out some kind of new product, maybe a sample product I got from like Ulta or Sephora or a glam box and give my impression of it. First impression, if you will, it's a first impression, but it's a quick little review. The one I'm going to do today is this mask from a company called Yensa. I got this actually out of a beauty glam box and I love the orange. I love the orange color. Yes, this is how I pick things. I also love that it's pumpkin. So it's a pumpkin turmeric two-in-one radiance polishing mask plus eight super orange essence. Now, I don't know anything about Yensa. Never even heard of them. So I did do a little look up on the on Google uh, up to their website and says Yensa is an Asian American beauty brand that creates clean high performance complexion cosmetics and skincare infused with superfood science and Asian rituals for a diverse modern world. And you know so I, I decide okay I get that I like that. What about the pumpkin and turmeric? Why those two particular ingredients. Pumpkin for skincare. Pumpkin has high levels of vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, and also has beta carotene, another antioxidant. It also has a lot of alpha hydroxy acids, which of course is good for exfoliation. The turmeric has antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, uh, which can add a brightening effect. Now, the other thing that pumpkin is supposed to be good for for skin is actually building collagen, which is what the back says. Now, when I read the back of this, it said powered by eight super orange essence, nourishing mask and face polish in one, hydrates to leave skin smooth, supple, and radiant. And then it says pumpkin boosts collagen and turmeric soothes skin. Hey, let's check it out. So the first, it says directions, smooth a thin layer and clean damp skin for five to 10 minutes, massage with circular motions and um, rinse with warm water. Use three to four times a week for a superfood glow. Let's open this up here and take a quick sniff here. I, I just took off the little silver foil. Mm, okay, it does smell good. It smells like pumpkin and spice. I, this would be so good in the fall. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just saying, I could just sit here and smell. <laughs> would be much of a review. I got wet cloth here, so I'm just going to dampen my skin here. I've already cleansed it, so I have no makeup on. I have nothing on my skin. So let's go ahead. Oh, it's an orange gel. Okay, it is has kind of a fine grit to it. You can feel right off the bat. Yeah, I can feel. It feels good. It smells amazing. But yeah, be careful putting this on just because of that fine grit. You don't want to press too hard. Watch the eye area. So my fingers are all messy. The product's on my face. I will be back in five to 10 minutes after I've massaged it and rinsed it off and I'll give you my impression. We'll see you in a bit. It's been 10 minutes and I have massaged my face with warm water and then rinsed it off. What I liked about it as it was curing on my face, I love the smell of it. I love the way it felt on my face. It didn't like harden and feel heavy. It felt very light on my face. I did enjoy that quite a bit. When I went and massaged it with the warm water on my face, it turned into kind of like a, a milky serum and lost some of the grittiness. Again, I like that. It felt, oh, this is nice mini facial, which is what, you know, I expected it to do, but it was really nice that it followed through. Here's where it went a little south for me. When I rinsed it, I kept feeling I had to keep putting more and more water on, like it would never get clean. It, it felt like there was um, like a film 
on my face. It felt <sighs> kind of greasy in a way, but not, that's maybe not the best word, but like I said, like a film, I couldn't get off. And the problem with that for my skin is my skin is very sensitive. It, it, most things break it out. Like I mentioned um, in my video when I did the face makeup for my last tutorial, the 30th anniversary of City Slickers, everything breaks it out. That's why I don't wear like heavy foundations because they break my face out. So we'll see how this one does. If I'm going to give it another couple of tries to see if it's all right. If this one, this try doesn't break my face out. If I would have to give my opinion right now, would I buy this product again? I would have to say probably not. But then again, if you have really dry skin, this may be perfect for you because it it does feel like it has a, a, a barrier or a little bit of a, um, a moisture or a film on the face to kind of maybe hold that hydration in a little bit more. So for me, it's probably initially a pass, but for some, this may work out really well. That is my five minute review. If you like the content I create and want to see more of these little reviews or the makeup that I've done before, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my content that I upload. Until next time, keep expanding your life, do something fun, take care of yourself, and we'll see you soon.